Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us understand some of the options we get while exporting our SSRS reports to Excel. So for this, let us go to report server URL. Now in our SSRS project, okay, that is this project, SSRS project, we have got multiple reports and we have deployed these reports to the report server URL, right? So if you open this, we go to the SSRS project folder, right? Then we get multiple reports. So now let us go and see this report. Now this is a stabbed report, right? Okay. Correct. Now, what if you ex export this report to Excel? Okay, let us say this is the state in which we export. Okay. Let us say this is the state in which we want to export this report to Excel. Then let us go export to Excel, open, right? So we see that we get exactly the same output, right? We had expanded India and Japan and rest of the things we had not expanded. So over here also, by default, it will expand India and Japan. If you want, you can further expand everything, right? All the groups, correct? Or if you want, you can collapse the things which were initially shown as expanded, okay? So all those things you can do. Uh, but the default view will be the one that you had selected over here, okay? The state over here, that is those groups which were expanded will be by default exported as expanded. And those groups which were having collapsed state with by default have collapsed state over here, but you can change it, okay? So this is the way in which Excel is exported. Now let us close this. Now let us go to another report. Now this is a block group report. So, which we had developed in one of our earlier video tutorials, right? So, if you see, then it is showing region-wise data, right? So, the highest level of group is region, okay? And it, it, it has having page break as per the region. So, on the first page, we get data of Asia. On the second page, we get data of Europe. And on the third page, we get data of North America. So, let us export, export this report to Excel. And let us see what we get. So over here also we get on the first page, on the first sheet we get Asia's data, on the second sheet we get data of Europe and on the third sheet we get data of North America. But there is one problem, sheet 1, sheet 2 and sheet 3 are the names, okay. Ideally we would like to have names as per our group, that is this highest level group is region, so over here we are having data of Asia. So over here we will ideally like to have the name as Asia, over here we will like to have instead of sheet 2 we will like to have Europe as the name of the sheet. And for the third sheet, instead of having name as sheet 3, we like, ideally like to have North America as the name. So let us see how to do this. Okay, so let us close this. Let us go to our SSDT. Now, this is the report that we were looking at. Correct? This is the report that we were looking at. So let us go to this report. Okay. Now, let us, the highest level of grouping on the basis of which the new page is decided is region. So let us go to region, let us click F4, let us go to groups. So over here we have specified page breaks, right? So go to page breaks and page name. So let us go and specify page name. So let us use an expression, let us go to fields, okay? And over here let us say we want page name as per region, right? So let us have name of the page as the region name, okay? Right? The page name is equal to the region name itself. Now let us save everything. Let us uh, go and deploy this report. Okay, we have saved these things, correct? So let us go and deploy this report again back to the server. So it has been deployed. Now come back to our report again, right? So this is the report, block group report, correct? So to click it. So now over here the view will remain same, right? There will not be any change in the view, correct? But let us now go and export it to Excel, open, and now we can see that over here the page name has been taken. So over here there is a change, right? So now the sheet names are as per the, per the region names, right? That is as per the first level group name, that is region name, right? So I hope friends this video tutorial is useful to you. Thank you.